Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bold Live. I'm your host, Casey Kasperzik, and over there is the one and only Ken Haynes. Hello, our favorite, everybody. Our favorite security guard, Mike, Mike Guthrie, uh, you know, and um, gosh, I got to say, this is a real treat for me because one of some of my first memories of watching Bold and Beautiful was watching you and Sheila, you know, uh, the dynamic duo re wreak havoc on uh, Forrester. So this is, and all these years later, you're still doing that and uh, having a lot of fun here on the Bold and the Beautiful. So we're excited. I'm excited to really get to know you a little bit and hang out with all our Bold and Beautiful fans around the world. So sit back, relax, and it all happens right here on Bold Live in three, two, one. Boom. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, Casey. This is a real, this is really exciting. Now, you know, because of all our like COVID protocols and stuff like that, I haven't been able to hang out as much on stage with um, yeah. everybody because we try to keep our distance, but that's all kind of, kind of um, subsided for now. And um, I did get to chance to meet you and hang out with you during a Kimberlyn Brown's um, uh, celebration mm -hmm. back in October. But uh, but now I'm I it just uh, now we get to talk to you one on one. So what's going on? Well, what's going on? Well, I'm I'm coming back on the show as uh, we discussed a little bit earlier. But yeah, um, yeah right now what's going on? That um, I'm remodeling my house. <laughs> That's okay. going on. Um, hopefully the contractors won't be too noisy today. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you know, living life. I'm writing a bit um, and uh, and hanging out. Well, we appreciate you taking time to hang out with all of us here on Bold Live. Um, now, I want to I want to go back to the beginning. Okay, now let's go back. Um, what year was it? Was it ninety two three? I believe it was ninety two. Okay, and. Um, you came on now. Okay, for people who don't understand how acting works, how did how does somebody like you end up on the Bold and the Beautiful? Well, so I, I uh, you know, went to university. Where I was a theater major. Okay. I went to theater school, graduate school, did theater all over the country, and then New really? York and even Europe. And then I ended up in Los Angeles. I always wanted to pursue film and television. And then I had met Christy Dooley, the casting director, uh, at a showcase, and she called me in for an audition. I auditioned, and I think a couple days later then, she called me back and said, well, come in, and I want you to meet Brad Bell. And so came in and read a little bit more with uh, Brad in the room, and, um, and then got the job. And it was funny because I actually got, I was auditioning for lots of different television things, and I actually got two shows, like, on the same day. I got a, a small role on a, on a show called Civil Wars and Bold and the Beautiful, and I remember saying to the my agent at the time, okay, he said, there's um, uh, 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 Civil Wars and there's Bold and the Beautiful. I said, which has the mo most work? He said, well, it's three days on Bold and the Beautiful and one day on, on Civil Wars. I said, Bold and the Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, and for- Wait, there so was, there was a chance you wouldn't, weren't gonna do Bold and Beautiful? Well, yeah, there was. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, it was this nighttime show and, 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 and I was trying to figure out what, you know, listen, not very often do you have the luxury of having uh, a couple of offers and that yeah. was one of those yeah. times so yeah. uh thank god i took bold and the beautiful well, that, because not only has it been a long run it's been um it's just been so much fun you know so when you when you um uh what was the first time you met kimberlyn brown well it was on set um <laughs> i'm just remembering now it was on set and one of our first scenes that we did together, um, she, I was the security guard and she came into the office and I see her and she's gorgeous and I'm, I, I'm a little bit um, bumbling and, you know, and, and talking to her. And, but there was so much business to do that day. Grab the coffee pot, pour the coffee, don't hit your big gun belt against 
you know, that I was literally clumsy. And she sort of shot me a smile. And the minute that happened, it was like we, we had chemistry. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was, it, it was really nice. We've had it ever since. I well, adore. And that's, a, that's how a lot of uh, it's worked on Bold and the Beautiful. We go back to Darlene Conley with, um, you know, Sally and, and, and Shea yeah. Harrison, he played Darla. Like right. Darla was only going to be on the show for one episode or two, but she just had that rapport with yeah. um, Darlene and Sally. And it, it is, that was the team. And I feel a lot that happened with, with you and Kimberlyn that you just had that instant uh, chemistry. Yeah, I think we did. We, you know, we like each other, um, but also, you know, having chemistry with another actor, one of the things that helps a lot is if the writing is good. And the writing was so good for us. I mean, you know, outrageous, dangerous, funny, once in a while heartfelt, you know, it was just, it was so much fun to play. And I think we both knew that. Mm -hmm. And we really, we really relished it. And coming back, it's been, you know, exactly that same thing. Just great, great fun. And we're both always anxious and, and to, to, to see what's coming next. So, um, Well, I think you're right. There is, your, your arcs always have a range of, uh, you know, comedy and 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 the heartbeats and things like that and yeah. i think i think back like so did you do a lot of comedy when you were um touring the country and doing theater and, and I, stuff i did both i did comedy yeah. and drama at one point i really wanted to do sitcoms and you know but that's not the way in you know yeah. which my career went but um but yeah so i did i did a variety of things i did a lot of crazy outrageous things in theater so playing mike getting to do these things i just embraced it i just i i loved it i just you know i just ate it up so yeah and and you know the crazier the better and the wilder the better and you know you go back to those seasons in the 90s you know the kidnappings and yeah. you know all of this stuff it 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 was and is well, Great fun. Well, did you know at the time how iconic, you know, spinning the vials with the paternity test was going to become? No. I had no idea, you know, no idea that what I was about to sort of step into. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, people always, you know, that's one of the like top top moments on the show, especially where Sheila's involved, you know. Right. Uh, uh, such a great reaction. Yes. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the and then, best. yeah. And then some of the craziness, like, right. Uh, when you, when you, you, you kidnap, wait, you kidnap Sheila, right? Well, for about three years in a row, one year we kidnapped, um, oh, what was his name? Ian Buchanan's wife, because Sheila was in love with Ian, her psychologist. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And we held her, where did we hold her? Um, Oh, I I can't even remember where, where it was, what? but we and yeah. then we kidnapped him. We kidnapped mm -hmm. Ian one year and mm -hmm. held him in the bottom of Sheila's uh Bel Air home. And then the final thing is I kidnapped Sheila, you know, and held her on the back lot at Universal and we yeah. redid all of the, the psycho stuff. That part all right, so the fans are yes, it was Maggie that you know you kidnapped. Maggie, Ian, of course. You know? Yes. And then you had Ian in uh the, the Houdini dungeon. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then, uh, then the show went to the psycho house at the universal backlog, which that's pretty, that's right. that was pretty and, cool. And then we shot the shower scene from psycho, the famous iconic mm -hmm. shower scene, um, shot for shot in the movie with me in the shower, except I didn't die. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, so, I mean, you really, you'd be hard pressed to find more fun and great stuff for an actor to. To bite into. I gotta look up that episode. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a, it was it was great fun, and there's all kinds of stories that go along with shooting it like that. We literally had a video on set of Psycho of thing, and 
we were looking at that and 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 doing it shot by shot. So. Well, because now, yeah, yeah, now you'd have playback on set to look, but now we could just have exactly. our phones and we could have stills of every that's exactly shot right. you would need. Like that's how yep. that's what's crazy about how technology has changed, and it's just uh. changed our industry and how we do things. And um, yeah, I mean, and I'm sure you've seen all that because you're not just a performer, but you're also a producer. You've done a lot of. Uh, television shows and I don't know if a lot of people know all that about that side of you. Yeah, I I transitioned um, shortly after Bold and the Beautiful. Um, I sort of ended Bold and the Beautiful, I think in around 98. And then uh, by 99, I was writing and producing television with my then wife. Um, and I went on to write and executive produce, you know, a dozen TV shows and I directed several of them as well. And so that's really uh, for the last, since, since 99, um, for the next 20 years, I wrote and produced television. I finished my last show um, for NBC, Midnight Texas in uh, 2019, and then the pandemic hit. And so um, I've been just developing shows since then and then Bold and the Beautiful called. So they've kept me busy. So I've had a nice yes. long run. I've been very fortunate. That, and that's uh, that's awesome to hear because I mean this is what you went to school for. It's what you 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 wanted to be yeah. in the business, and you were able to make a career of it. And it's amazing that also that it's you know I never intended to be a writer, but I was married to a writer, and I got in the theater. We started writing theater together, and and it just led me to that. But it's so funny that it's come full circle now, and now I've. Mm -hmm. Come back to Bold and the Beautiful. I again, it's I'm I'm very fortunate. So, oh, I'm just curious. We have a lot of international fans watching yeah. uh, this right now. Uh, when you go to Italy or Australia, have you been recognized? I I oh yeah, I have, and I was in Australia recently, um, and I had a couple of people come up to me and talk to me, and uh, yeah, absolutely, and and. You know, coming back on the show in Los Angeles, I've, I've had, you know, people come up to me and it's it's a bit novel for me because I haven't done it in so long. And, you know, say, oh, my God, we saw you on the show. And and I, I was speaking. I have a new accountant. And I said to him, well, and the last couple of years I've been earning some money acting again. And he said, oh, what are you doing? I said, Bold and the Beautiful. What? Bold and the Beautiful? Wait, who are you? And we were talking over the phone. I said, I play Mike Guthrie. Oh, my wife and I have been watching this show for 30 years. Oh, my and God. And so, you know, it's very funny. It's the power that, of television, the power of this show. I, lo I love that story. I love that. Um, so now let's talk about you've been you've been you were on the show. I oh gosh, it was like had to be like 10 years ago or, or so when you yeah. had uh, scenes with Patrick Duffy. Yes. So it, it is. I was joking when I was back because that was 22. So in 2012, is that right? No, 2010, I 10, think. Man, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I, um, I came back and I had a storyline with Patrick Duffy and I, I was I was selling him a gun and uh, and, you know, Brad called me and. Um, they said, listen, how would you feel about coming back on the show? And I, I was really in the middle of, of, of working on a couple of shows that I was writing and producing, but I had the summer basically off. And I remember calling my agents and saying, well, they wanted me to come back. What, what do you think? And they said, oh, we think it's fun, but you only have a month. So I told them I have four weeks and, uh, and they wrote a really fun part. And I, I enjoyed working with Patrick and lots of fun. So, well, Adam Z says we need more Mike. Uh, I agree. We need oh, more Mike. Nice. Thank um, you, Adam Z. I'm just reading some of our uh, moderator. David here is giving me some questions. Uh, Charlotte wants to know who would you like to work with on Bold that you haven't already. Oh, that's a good question. Um, um, well, I had a really fun time working with. Um, uh, with Brooke and with Ridge in the in the last um, mm -hmm. run, so uh, I really enjoyed working um, with Brooke. those two. Yeah. I'd like to work more with them. You know, I adore yeah. Kimberlyn. I feel like it's as good as it gets. Um, you know, so I love working with her. So, but it's a great cast. So um, Tanner was great to work with. Plays her yeah. son. 
you know, oh, gosh, we have some of the some of the great scenes where you were, you know, when when Finn was uh, being held captive and, uh, you know, being nursed yeah. and, health and being captive. Yeah, those were great. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a quick funny story because he's so funny. Mm. Um, uh, there was a scene where I was tearing his shirt off and <laughs> she was going to give him the paddles. And um, and he's been laying there all during the, the previous two or three scenes was she and I running around, really just not saying anything, laying in bed. And um, just before we were ready to go, he uh, looked up and sort of said to me, hey, make sure you tear the shirt way down. I've been working on my abs. Ah, oh, so God. I started laughing. And he's a very funny guy. So. Yeah, that's very funny. That's very, yeah, I remember that. I mean, hats off to him. I mean, uh, you know, Tanner was there laying there shirtless, you know. That, yes. You know, yes. You know. <laughs> he's, so he's he's got he's gifted. Um, I will say Julia <laughs> Schmidt says the Sheila and Mike scenes are the best. Uh, Thank you, Julia. And Jerry says Ken and Kimberlyn are the Bonnie and Clyde of B and B. Oh, that's man, a good way of putting great. it. Yeah, that is. A, I think that's a very good way of putting it. Actually, I uh, hadn't thought of that. Susan Susan's bringing up the Dobermans. Now, you all, uh, this is one of the most famous ones. So glad Mike wasn't a goner when he was on the freight elevator at Forrester with the Dobermans. Yes. So tell me about that. Was there a stunt double or what? No, there was no stunt double. It was just me. But I'll tell you what we had. Uh, we had two Dobermans um, playing one Doberman. Uh, and there was the aggressive Doberman that would bark and, um, you know, growl and the Kimberlin you know, uh, sicked on me. Um, and then there was the passive quiet Doberman, which when the elevator doors opened up again, oh, oh, you know, I was petting uh, him. And yeah. so, um, so the, so no, so it was just me and the dog, the dog was amazing because it would growl and do all that. And then it would jump into the elevator and just put its, you know, his paws mm -hmm. up on my, on my chest. So Hollywood, sweet. Hollywood dogs. That's right, Hollywood dogs, exactly. Uh, Mona, Mona from Montreal said, Ken, thanks for taking time to join us, fans here. And thanks, Casey, for your inviting you. Uh, wow. We appreciate your time. Um, and then she, she enjoyed hearing about your career other than B&B. &B. Um, and uh, Latasha, yeah. I would love for Deacon and Mike to fight over Sheila. They both love Sheila. Oh, yeah, now let's talk about that. Oh. You know, poor, poor Mike has never really gotten... You know, Sheila's heart. Yes. As, and yes. all you have done for her, all you have That's done right. for Sheila. She you, owes me. <laughs> you took the rap for her. I mean, you're rotting in prison because of her right now. Right, right. And Mike, uh, Mike loves Sheila. And, you know, um, the expression love is blind, it yeah. absolutely applies to Mike. Um, and, you know, I mean, the last scene that I did with Sheila, which you know, I think the line was, I'll wait a lifetime for you, yeah. you know, and that's, that's Mike. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that, and that's, I mean, I, 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 I wonder, was that always in the writing for you, but your, your love of, your character's love of Sheila? I think not, I think in the beginning, what it really was, he was just infatuated with her. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, I think that Kimberlyn and I had that chemistry, and I think they wrote to that then, and and I think it was a very good uh, plot device that that propelled Mike into doing all of this crazy stuff. Because if he wasn't in love with her, he was just psychotic. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. So, yeah. Well, and, um, okay, so uh, this person, past and present, says, hey, Ken, you look great. For a plot twist, Sheila and Mike have an unknown baby. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I keep hoping Mike will win the lottery, and then he'll have the money of the other uh, uh, people on the show, so that he can maybe impress her with his money. <laughs> there, you, there you go. I mean, it does seem that Sheila has unlimited funds somewhere. Yes, yes. But now that she's with Bill, she's really hit the jackpot. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go to the fan lines here. Please call in if you'd like to talk to us. Let's see who's on uh, on hold here. Great. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Good evening, Mr. Casey and Mr. Mike, Mr. Mr. Ken. How y'all doing this evening? This is Jared Carter from Gulfport, Mississippi. How y'all doing this evening? Oh, hey, Jared. Good. What's good, going on? Good, good. Uh, oh, all is well. All is well. Uh, <laughs> just want to give. Just want to come in to uh, say hello to Mr. Ken Hayes, better known as Mr. Mike. Off of bold and beautiful, and I was true what I said in a comment about uh, him and and Kimberly Brown as the Bonnie and Clyde of bold, of bold and beautiful. I liked that, Jared. That was I. I was saying I, I hadn't thought of that, but uh, that's a nice way to think about it. Thank <laughs> you. I think it's true. You're welcome, sir. Yes, yeah. yes, sir. Good. All right. So, uh, yeah. Do you? How long have you been watching the show, Jerry? Ooh, since 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 the late nineties. Okay. Since the late nineties. So, I mean, cause like I said in the past, cause I was watching Bold. The only time when I watch Bold and Beautiful is like when I'm on my summer vacation from school. So, so that's the only time I tune in. But since originally I've been watching it since twenty twenty oh nine or ten. Okay, well, I would say, Jerry, go back on our YouTube channel, Bold and Beautiful, and uh, watch some of those earlier episodes, and you'll see uh, Ken Haynes there. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, I did, because I know, I, I know it, it started from 1987, because like I said, I, mean, I was born in 1984, so, and the show debuted in 87, so I was like three years old, or like two or three years old at that time when, they, when, y'all, when uh, Bold and Beautiful got started. All right. So it was so it was it was the right time, Mr. Casey. All right, Jerry. Well, thank you so much. You take care. Thank you. You too, Mr. Casey. Nice talking to you, Mr. Ken Hayes. And keep up, keep doing what you're doing, man. Thanks a lot. You take care. All right. Bye bye. All right. Let's see who else is on the phone lines. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. This is Maria from Philly. Hey, Maria. Say hi to Ken. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, Maria. How you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. It's good to talk to you guys. Likewise. Um, I it just must have be... a quick question. Go I'm ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. It must be cold where you are. It's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> um, real quick question. I know there's other callers. Um, as far as Mike and Sheila, do you think maybe there will be a, a triangle between Deacon, Bill, and Mike? You never know. Well, that'd I mean... be a square. That'd be a square. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, three edges of a triangle. Yeah. So oh. Maybe... oh, with Sheila in the middle. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. That, that's an interesting triangle. You never know. I mean, we don't know what's coming, um, but uh, Mike would always be uh, in the mix to fight for Sheila, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, because I would love to see that because I know she's not happy with Bill. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be a great scene. I would like to see the three of them with Sheila. I think that would be what a combination that would be. Well, first we got to get uh, Mike out of prison. That's true. That's right. We got to get Mike out. And I think Bill has some um, ways to get people out of prison. So maybe there's some kind of twist that's going to happen. We'll see. But okay. I'm hoping. Well, thank you, Maria. I like the way you think. Thank, thank you, Maria. You. Have a good weekend. All right. You too. Nice, guys. Bye-bye. All right. Well, you have a time for a few more callers here. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh oh. Waiting for it to catch up. Yep. Cheryl says, Casey, thanks for doing Bold Live. Gary says, Free Mike. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We say you're starting Mike. Free Mike. Hi. Welcome we'll to Bold we'll Live. Start the Free Mike campaign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, here we go. See, it's ringing. Okay. And she's going to, they're hearing me. Hello? Oh, I'm going to have to go to the next caller. Hello? Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Say hi to Ken. Hi, you can you can hear me now. Hi, Casey, it's Donna. 
Donna, how, how you are been? You guys? Very I'm good. good. How are you good. doing, Donna? Good. Hi, how are you? Um, no no I'm real great. question. I just wanted to call in and tell you what a big fan I, uh, I am of yours. I've watched you since the 90s, and I was really thrilled to see you back. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's so nice to hear. I'm You're glad welcome. to be back. I just really have enjoyed watching you. Well, I think thank you for calling in, Donna. Where do you where are you calling from? I'm up near the San Francisco area. Okay, uh, cool. So you're part of the California storms that we've been having. Yep, and uh, met you at Ben Hart Disneyland trip, Casey. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. right. Oh, that Donna. Hi, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm surprised I got in. I I try I try a lot. This is the first time I've got gotten in. All right. Well, it was meant to be. Well, all right. Well, talk to you soon. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Ken. All right, bye, Donna. All right, we got time for one more, two more. We'll see. What? Hey, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Sue from upstate New York. Wait, what was your name? Sue. 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 Hello, Sue. Hi. So, yeah, you got a question for uh, Ken? Yes, um, I wanted to ask him, is he really in jail or did Bill pay for him to lie and then get him out of jail? Well, I'm really in jail and Bill did, uh, Bill paid a little to to help Sheila's case, let's put it that way. But yes, but I, but that meant I stayed in jail. So uh, I sort of sacrificed for Sheila, but I got a little something on the side from Bill as well. Okay. Great. Now, nice how talk. long have you been watching Bold and Beautiful? Since day one. Well, thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, and Amazing. I get in arguments all the time on the uh, Bold and Beautiful site with people about things that have happened and stuff. It's like, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah. keeping keeping uh, people honest. Yeah. All right, Sue. Well, you have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to time for one more caller here. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name's Angela. I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, another caller from Philadelphia. Oh, that was my twin. You just talked to Maria. Wait, wait who was that? <laughs> my, you talked to my sister Maria. She's my twin. The one you oh just called from Philly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we're in the same house. She said, try to call and get through. Wait, are, are you like, in the oh, same house? Play right now, but. You were in the same house. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. Wow. I didn't, I didn't have any questions. I just want to see yeah. if I can get through, but I did want to say hi and let you know that I'm a big fan. Ah, that's sweet. It's nice to hear your voice. It's amazing that we, we're hearing from both of you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I got through because I tried to call and get through and I never could. So. Well, now, do you, uh, are, do you want uh, Mike and she Sheila to end up together? I don't know. I don't think Sheila's capable of love, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> well, she's a she's a complex person. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know. Yes. Yeah, love very. is very. <laughs> yeah, love is blind. But then again, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I guess they'd be a good pair. <laughs> now, how long have you watched the show? Yeah. Oh gosh, it's the nineties. That's awesome. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Is it, was it Angela? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, Angela. Well, you have a good uh, weekend. Glad you All got right, through, you, Angela. You both have a good weekend as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks. All Bye. right. Well, Ken, I got to say, we're coming to the end of our show. It's been great to get to know you a little bit more and all the fans. And I would love for you to come back with Kimberlyn and we do uh, the two of you together. That would be amazing. We Let's count on it. You can count on it. We'll do it. Okay. And um, I'll see you at the uh, anniversary party in a couple of weeks. I will see you shortly. Thanks for having me on. It was great fun, Casey. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. All right. Well, there you have it. There's Ken Haynes. That was so much fun to have him on and part of the show. And, uh, you know, uh, Sheila and uh, Mike Guthrie, they're like my first memories of watching The Bold and the Beautiful. So it's so awesome. All these years later, that's still part of the show. I mean, it's, uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, what's I going to say? Oh, I'm reading some of your, oh, I didn't do the fan roll call with him. Oh my goodness.
I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, well, next time. Next time we'll do the fan roll call. Um, I do want to tell you guys, if you want to uh, connect with me, you can uh, find me on my handles here at Instagram, Casey Cass, and on Twitter at Casey Kasperzik. Um, and please follow on, um, please subscribe to the Bold and Beautiful YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. Please subscribe. Also, uh, we have our Twitter, Bold Insider. You want to subscribe to that. Um, we have information about the fan event that's happening in August. I hope all of you will come out to Los Angeles so you can be at the fan event. We have lots of uh, exciting information that's coming out, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So uh, be sure to look out for that. But that's going to do it for us here at Bold and Beautiful. I want to remind you to be bold, be beautiful, and be back next week for an all-new Bold Live. Have a great weekend, everyone. So that's it? That's it, Katie.